Dear 18 year old me. 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 Dear 18 year old me, you're going to make a lot of mistakes <laughs> in the next few years, but in the end, uh, everything will turn out fine. Being 18 was a wonderful age and it was a wonderful time. You know, I had a car, I had my group of friends in high school, I was having a great time. I'm moving out of my house, I'm 18 years old, like it was it was awesome. I like the world was in my hands. I think the most challenging thing is that like that big question, what do you want to do and what are you passionate about? As you're in your final year of high school, you get a lot of options thrown your way. A lot of people want to give you their opinion about what you should do. And you have a pretty good idea of what you're good at and what you want to do, but I think it can be difficult to know exactly which road to go down. I just didn't know. I didn't know what I wanted. I really thought I had it all figured out. You know, I just thought, oh, this is how my life is going to go, and I don't need to worry about anything. Like, it's, it's just going to work out the way I want it to, because why wouldn't it? I kind of had my sights set, and I was ready to try my best and see where I ended up. Any experience you gain when you're younger, whether it's working for a family member or working on your chores or working for a part-time job, it's valuable experience that, that will definitely help you in your career. As you go along and you actually have to walk the walk and talk the talk, you experience and you screw up in the process. And I think for me, the biggest thing about being an entrepreneur and what makes you an entrepreneur is being willing to screw up all the time. You will never really know what you really want unless you try it out. So, you know, definitely at 18, is such a great, it's such a great age to do the jobs, to be an intern, to kind of test out where you want to go. Just so before you spend four years studying in that field, you should definitely know how the real work environment is. You will feel that university is kind of this road and then it kind of leads to the end. And that's kind of the end of the road. And then when you come out on the other side, you're going to be the most amazing accountant or artist or TV producer. Um, and while you really will be really amazing, you'll have a lot of great skills and everything, it's not really the end of the road. When you get out there and you start applying and you really enter the workforce, you find it really challenging. It was fairly hard just because the job market is so competitive. You don't really think about all the competition that's out there and all the people who are also awesome and also want that same job as you. And you know, you need to just make yourself stand apart from those people. You need to prove that you are the candidate for the job. They expect you to have three to five years experience professional doing something and that's really difficult unless you've managed to do a lot of internships. The only regret that I have just in university was I wished I'd get involved a lot sooner than I did. I started getting really involved within school in third year and that really landed me to all the jobs and all the opportunities. While I was at Ryerson, I went out, put myself out there and got co-op opportunities and tried to figure out what it was that I wanted to do. I was always kind of doing something on the side, whether it was an internship or volunteering at the school newspaper. Um, I always kind of had something on the go so that when I have of my resume right when I graduated it didn't just have school. In fourth year when I was the CM ambassador for Ryerson University I actually went to a DECA conference and I was preparing for the conference and that's where I met my director who was judging it and I ended up having a great conversation with her and a couple months later she gave me a call and she asked me um, she told me that there was a role of a financial analyst at Scotiabank and if I was interested in joining so I just jumped to the opportunity I thought it was a great role I was very I was always very interested in the company Networking is very important. You realize how far knowing people will get you and when you're 18 that's not what you're thinking about. So every time I met someone and they asked what I was doing or what I hoped to do, I wasn't afraid to tell them what my end goal was and that I wanted to be on air somewhere and I wanted to be working in the broadcast industry. Go on LinkedIn, that's a big one for me was going and creating that profile and having that professional presence there so that when I got out of school it was I already had connections and people I could look to. You definitely want to have your online profile set up and if you're not currently aware of what your online profiles look like I'm talking about like LinkedIn even Facebook um, Twitter if you have an account and any other accounts that you're not actively on be aware that people see that and that represents you online. I think 
when you're in university, you aren't so much thinking about your professional life. You're on that brink of adulthood where you're making, you're starting to make big choices, you're starting to make big decisions, but you're still learning a whole lot about yourself. So it's that in-between ground where you're allowed to make mistakes and people are wanting to help you out, but at the same time, people are willing to take you seriously and give you great opportunities. Work hard, it shows in your character. Be moral and ethical, I mean, you want to grow as an individual, do anything you can, experience it all now. Please go out and tell everyone you're a student because I do that all the time. I did that through Ryerson, I milked it through so many people. I said, I'm a student and help me out. And you can only do it while you're in university because when you're in high school, people are kind of like, eh. But when you're in university, uh, you're becoming a scholar. You're, they want to help you out. They want to see you do well. Do your research. Do your research, understand the company, be prepared for any interview or any kind of encounters you have. If there's an event where the company you want to work for is coming to your to your school, then you should prepare, understand who's going to learn, try to figure out who's going to be there and try to figure out their background. The right people can really help you in life, but you just have to find them and make those connections and not be afraid or intimidated to do that. Dear 18 year old me, just remember to work hard but enjoy as well and the best is yet to come. Dear 18 year old me, it'll all work out. Work hard and work towards your goals, but be smart and don't stress out too much and just be happy. Dear 18 year old me, you are not as special as you think you are. You are a great person and you're going to do well in life, but you can't just sit back and expect things to happen because that's not how it works. You need to sit down and really understand what makes you special and how you can improve on, upon who you are. It's important to make those mistakes because then the sooner you find out what isn't right for you, the sooner you're closer to finding out what is the right fit for you. Dear 18 year old me, go out and have a bit more fun and you're gonna turn out just a-okay. Dear 18 year old me, that final stretch of exams isn't going to kill you. Those all-nighters will definitely pay off and make you stronger in the end of the day. And just so you know, it's all gonna be okay.